the Archbishop of Canterbury is expected to marry Prince Harry and divorcee Meghan Markle. In an interview on Radio 4's Today programme yesterday, Justin Welby declined to say whether he would officiate at the service, saying only that it was up to them. But it is believed that he has, in fact, already agreed to marry the couple in St George's Chapel at Windsor Castle in May. But it will be Archbishop Welby who pronounces Harry, 33, and Meghan, 36, man and wife. He is also expected to sit down with the couple for Christian premarital counselling sessions in the run-up to their wedding. The fact that the senior bishop and principal leader of the Church of England is happy to marry a couple, one of whom is divorced, shows how much has changed both for the church and the royal family in recent years. The Archbishop has long made it clear that he holds a liberal view on marriage, but his predecessor, Rowan Williams, refused to let Prince Charles and their then Camilla Parker Bowles marry in church. Instead, they had a civil ceremony at Windsor Guildhall in 2005, which the Queen declined to attend, followed by a blessing by him at St George's Chapel. Both Kensington Palace and Lambeth Palace declined to comment on the Archbishop's role at the service last night, 